Don't get me wrong, it's not that I dislike Rivens, it's just that I disdain them with every fiber of my being and wish for nothing more than those block chainless Warframe NFTs to be scrubbed from the game. Kill yourself. Oh, fuck you! Not to bomb an orphanage. To the feds listening in on this call, I mean it. Well, yeah, that, that, that's 650,000 Kuva. But since so much money and so much time has gone into these little purple nuggets, the best we can do is invalidate them by taking a second crack at why they were made in the first place. Ribbons were added back in 2016 with The War Within as a way to breathe new life into older weapons. A meta at the time dominated by slide attacks and the Soma. It was nice to bring some weapons out of retirement, but in the usual DE fashion, uh, nothing was really thought through. At the end of the day, 300 times zero is still zero. As time went on and power creep created a larger gap than ever before, it was obvious that Rivens weren't going to cut it. Yes, I can spend a dozen hours farming Kuva and rolling a torrid over 100 times, or I can grab the latum at the early ranks of the Zeremin, spend peanuts to build it, and then hit that yoinky spoinky with just five mods. The novelty of Rivens fell apart with the introduction of incarnate weapons because, well, why would I spend time to make shit good when good already exists? So with the Duviri Paradox, we got the Steel Path Circuit to spend three to four Four hours for your weekly challenge so you can get your hands on two incarnate adapters of your choosing. To spoil my opinion at the end of the video, DE did good with these. They deliberately curated mostly lesser used or struggling weapons from ye old days of Warframe, the Bratton, the Lado, the Kunai, the Latron, the Bronco, and gave them the Latum treatment. A few strange picks did make their way into the mix, like the Soma and the Strun. And look, these are fine weapons at the end of the day, but when my Strun Prime does 13 fucktillion damage, I don't go, wow, that's a big number, I've never seen that before. I'm like, yeah, it's Thursday. But when I see stuff like the Furus turn into a 777 amp with life seal, or the Bronco turning into a weapon of mass erections, then my interest has peaked. No, really, the Bronco does this. I, I got this thing as a joke. I, I'm floored by this. I'm actually astounded. Subverted expectations in the early weeks made me really take a good look at these weapons and guesstimate what they can do. Like, I was an avid Latron hater. The thing that can't crit consistently enough to be a crit weapon, it's semi-auto so it can spread status, and the base damage is too low to be a pure damage weapon, so what does DE do? They turn it into the fucking tribe's spin fuser. The Torrid? The dirty diaper Chipotle launcher? Yeah, look how hard I can piss. But if these weapons deviated too much from why you enjoyed using them in the first place, they still have the benefit from the evolution stats, and that alone can really help a weapon in the modern content. Without spending 5,000 platinum, ribbons crawled so incarnates can run. The circuit is obviously Digital Extreme's way of challenging Destiny in their weekly content, and for the most part, I think they're doing an amazing job with these incarnates. With six weeks of different incarnates letting us pick two a week, it's going to take some time before we can stack them all up, and hopefully by then, DE has graced us with more variety. Fingers crossed for the stug, folks. It can happen. Until then, it's Bronken time. Jump the lady. Just jump her. Alright, minor inconvenience. It's now on top of her, but it's okay. We got this. Oh god. Oh god, glue. Glue. Oh no. <laughs> Move. It, it won't stop. <laughs> I created a monster. Oh no.